In 1976 Nassim Khan, who has died of cancer aged 77, wrote a report, The Arts Britain Ignores, that highlighted the burgeoning arts activity among Britain's ethnic communities, at that time uncharted territory. She advocated a more inclusive approach towards work by British, Black and Asian artists that was ignored by the cultural establishment, so that it could be brought into the mainstream. In arguing that Britain was a much richer place culturally due to the contribution of such artists, the report produced for the then Arts Council of Great Britain and other organisations, pointed to the need for greater institutional support. Later the same year Nassim followed up this research by founding the Minority Arts Advisory Service, MOSS, and in 1985 she became a co-director of Academy, the London-based Academy of Indian Dance. She worked on a large number of local authority arts and cultural plans, for Bedford, Gravesend in Kent, and the London boroughs of Redbridge and Newham, and for institutions including the Victoria and Albert Museum and Blackburn Museum and Art Gallery. In Lancashire, she was a senior associate with the consultancy Comedia for many years, and team leader for sections of their influential studies Parks and Urban Open Space, 1995, The Future of Public Libraries, 1993, and The Social Impact of the Arts, 1997. In addition to representing the UK at Council of Europe and UNESCO initiatives, she was head of diversity at the Arts Council of England, 1996-2003. to Throughout she argued that integration is not so much a matter of a common voice but opportunity for different voices, leading to a shared space. As a writer, Nassim was fascinated by how a strong society can encompass diversity while still retaining a sense of national identity. She was theater editor of Time Out 1978-81, before moving on to another London listings magazine, City Limits, had a weekly column in The New Statesman, and wrote for The Guardian, The Independent and Good Housekeeping. Her books included Voices of the Crossing, 2000, with Ferdinand Dennis, about the impact that writers from Asia, the Caribbean and Africa have had on Britain, and Asians in Britain, 2004, providing the text to accompany photographs by Tim Smith, and she contributed to being British, The Search for Values That Bind the Nation, 2009, edited by Gordon Brown and Matthew Dancona. In 1999 she was appointed Ob. Born in Birmingham, Nassim was the daughter of Abdul Wasi Khan, a doctor from India, and Gerda Nee Kilbinger, the daughter of a German trade unionist, who had come to Britain to learn English. Abdul was resolute in his admiration of Britain and determined that his daughter would become a part of the British establishment, sending her to Roedean School, near Brighton, and being delighted when she won a place at Lady Margaret Hall, Oxford, to study English. However, Nassim always struggled with this concept of the establishment, and spent much of the 1960s travelling in India and Pakistan, connecting with her Khan family roots. During the Second India-Pakistan War in 1965 she was on the Rode with a friend and found herself held in Pakistan as an Indian spy. When expelled across the border to India she was arrested on suspicion of being a Pakistani spy. These years abroad opened her eyes to the power of diversity. Moving back to London, she became part of the black power scene. In Notting Hill, West London, editing the Hustler magazine with contemporaries including Darkus. How? In 1974 Nassim married the journalist John Tarode. They had two children, Amelia and George, and lived in Hampstead. After an amicable separation in 2000, Nassim moved to a house just off Columbia Road in Hackney, East London. There she found a new lease of energy and focus, becoming a central figure in the Boundary Estate. She threw herself into her community, bridging the gap. 
between the old white working class Muslim families and the newly arrived East End hipsters. 1. Result of her imagination and persistence in her neighborhood was the restoration of Arnold Circus. The 19th century bandstand at the heart of the estate that had become a ruin. Arnold Circus is now an East End landmark and blueprint for integrated, inclusive, community engagement. Her last project was the Phytology Medicinal Field in a corner of the Bethnal Green Nature Reserve, with Michael Smythe. Built on a Second World War bomb site, it had recently won a Kew Gardens Innovation Award and a Welcome Trust grant. After her diagnosis last year, Nassim traveled with her family, went on retreat with her Buddhist group in France, and wrote her memoirs, due to be published later this year. Gentle but radical, she was an activist with quiet authority, and her legacy surrounds us. She is survived by Amelia and George, and her grandsons, Felix and Eugene, Nassim Khan, cultural activist and journalist, born the 11th of August 1939, died the 8th of June 2017.